Hello guys, my name is Amit and this is a quick introduction to perspective transformation using OpenCV. You might have seen applications like CamScanner where you put the document on table and you take a snap of it from any direction. The application intelligently shows you the document by deleting the entire background of it. Now you might be wondering like how does it do that? It does that because it uses this technique called as perspective transformation. Now before I show you a demo of it, let me tell you what is the problem statement that perspective transformation. So this is a very simple application where we are loading OpenCV and we are loading an image using OpenCV's IM reader function and I'm just displaying that on screen. Let me run this application and see what does it show. This is the very simple image, messy.jpg, it will try to show on screen. Yes, here it is. Now when you see the image, you can see that this is the Messi with his football. I'm interested in cropping the Messi's face here. So how do I do that? Now to do this, probably I'll try to go with this left to top corner and the bottom right corner and I'll select this particular rectangle here. Now to do this, I have written another application. So let me go to the p2.py file and here you can see I'm loading that same image. I'm cropping the face by using its coordinate. So this is the coordinate, this is the top left and this is the bottom left and here I'm trying to subtract the uh, required numbers and getting the face of it. And again the face and image both of them are shown parallel. Let me run this application and you will see Messi's image along with only the Messi's face. See this is the Messi's image, original image which we already have seen earlier and this is the face which I cropped from that image. It's very simple when you want to get an image which is of rectangular shape. Very simple. Now let me show you another problem. Now instead of using Messi's image, I have taken few playing cards. I put them on table and I'm trying to scan or I'm trying to read that image. And uh, this is how that image is taken. Now you see that there are few playing cards here. Now my requirement is I want to get this particular king of hearts. So how do I do it? Now if I apply the same logic, like if I go back here and select the top left corner and if I use the right bottom corner somewhere here and if I try to crop that particular uh, king of hearts, this is how I would do it. Now see, I'm trying to do simple cropping algorithm. This is the cropping one. So if I just go back, run my code, here you might see the original image and along with that you will see the king of hearts. But see the problem now. Okay, so you can see that if I'm using this corner or this corner, it shows a complete image like this, which is not at all acceptable. Now, this is not what I was looking for. I mean, it tries to give me the corner, but this is not what I was expecting from it. I really want to get that particular king, only the king from this image. So how do I do this? To do this, I have to literally transform the perspective from 1, 2, 3 and 4 to one, two, three, and four. So possibly what I want to do here is I want to map this point to this point, this point to this point, this point to this point, and this point to the right bottom corner right there. Okay, so to do this, I already have found those points. So this is point number one, left top corner. This is right, uh, uh, maybe this is the right top corner. This is the left bottom corner and this is the right bottom corner. I'm trying to map them to 00, 420, 0, 0, 520 and this is 420, 594. Just uh, maybe I'm taking an example of 420 by 594. That's the resolution of that final image. So now let me run this application and you will surprise to see that this is what I was expecting and I'm getting it by using the perspective transform function. The perspective transform will give me the matrix and by using the warp, warp perspective, uh, perspective I'm trying to get only the uh, king of hearts and you see magically I can get that image right here. This is exactly the same thing you might have seen in other applications like CamScan. It's very interesting and it's very simple. You see hardly few lines of code and I got what I was looking for. Now you might ask what is the uh, use case of this particular algorithm. Let me show you another example here. Let me go back to this one and here I'm trying to open a file named as scan.jpg. 
Now, probably when you look at that scan.jpg, there is an image. It's exactly the same case you might have seen in cam scanner. There is an image, there is a document. I've taken an image of it and I'm trying to fix the perspective by using this algorithm. This is the original image. You see, I'm taking an image of it from a different direction or by using a wrong perspective. I have fixed that perspective by again using the exact similar code. This is what you have seen in another application like CamScan. Another good example. Now in this example, you will see we have taken an image of a book and this book is not in a correct perspective. Now by using the same technique here, I tried to get the book out of that image and that works successfully. I see only book without having any background and this is exactly you might have seen in a, another application like CamScan. So probably you might have got an idea about why and where to use this kind of perspective. By the way, in OpenCV, the method name is what perspective and to get that perspective, we are using another function called as get perspective transform. This is the one which will give you the perspective transformation and hopefully you might have seen different use cases where you can use this kind of algorithm. Thank you very much for watching this video.